Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Libra. Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. So Libra, it looks like you're all tied up in knots about something. It's like you're waiting for an approval, waiting for a yes answer. There's a lot of moving parts. It could have something to do with um, legal, legal paperwork, legal documents, contracts, working with other people, getting the approval for. This could be promotion. This could be raise. This could be end of year bonus. It could be anything. It also could be getting the yes answer in terms of maybe a job or um, getting alignment with maybe a large corporation. Let's see what's going on here for you. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start about, we're gonna start with love here. So let's see. Let's see what the energy for love is for Libra. What's the energy for love? Energy for love. All right. Let's see. Energy for, okay. So you've got somebody wanting to date you exclusively. Um, they wanna show you that they want to show you their best side. They want to put their best foot forward. I don't know if you're the only one because we do have karma here. Um, this could be a karmic situation, a karmic relationship. What I'm hearing is that maybe it was very toxic and then it you grew from this or you you learned the lesson with spiritual growth. Somebody has also become enlightened. This could be some businessman who had a lot of options, who had a lot of women. They understand what somebody means to them or who what they mean right, what this relationship means to them. Yeah, gossip. There could be a lot of people talking about the change that is happening with this courting gentleman here. New love. That now they're seeing love in a different way. This person could have a lot of people after them because of their leadership role. And they could have a lot of women talking about how they've changed, maybe even gossiping about the change that is happening with this person, how they're, they're becoming more um, aware of their energy and who they spend their time with. Somebody is seeing love and, you know, with a new set of eyes, a new lease on life. I knew this was coming out. Look, somebody's got a lot of women. I'm seeing women because I'm seeing women. And somebody's got a lot of men. If, you know, if it's you, if you're a feminine Libra, you got some people on hold here. Like they're trying to figure out why you are not giving them the attention you used to give them. And it could be because if you are a masculine Libra, you have come to some awareness about yourself and spiritual growth and um, spreading yourself so thin and promiscuity and not just sexual promiscuity, but starting things and not finishing them, um, leaving things open ended. You don't want that. You've come to some awareness and some enlightenment here with a fair male. Um, so you look at love differently. You look at love relationships differently. And so you have people like, what the hell is going on with this person? Because now you're the wallflower. You're not engaging in all of this BS that you used to engage in. The dressing up and the going out and the spending money and meeting men or meeting women and just the turnover and the turnaround. Yeah, somebody doesn't want uh, that energy anymore. What is the future energy? This could be you, Libra. It could be someone you're dealing with. What is, um, maybe even your, some of you had to leave friend groups behind. And your friends could be talking about how you have changed, how you become more spiritual, more enlightened. Some of you married somebody and now you're more into spirituality and being more of a wife or cha more of a chaste woman. You, you know, you, you have more, uh, you know, um, you're more conservative, if you will. And now people are talking about the change that has happened within you. Hmm. What is, some of you, you went through something 
they could have even been a death here with that door opening, somebody going to the other side. You went through that spiritual growth. You got some enlightenment and awareness. And you got you now you're looking at love and just yourself, spirituality in a new light. People are you don't do the same things you used to do. You don't go where you used to go. People are gossiping about you. Some of you, you are just doing your own thing, staying to yourself. You're becoming more spiritual. And people are getting in groups and gossiping about how you don't do this and you don't engage and you're so spiritual and you're so enlightened. Some of you could even look better or look younger now that you're out of certain things or you're out of the mix. What is this about? What is the future energy for Libra? Main male, okay. Uh, for some of you, it could be same sex. If it is not same sex, um, you kind of switch your demeanor, switch your personality. What is this? Wow, marriage. I said somebody. Some of you married somebody and you you switched up. Some of you, um, you want to marry someone. You've changed your philosophy, your mindset about togetherness, marriage, linking yourself with another human being. Other people are just really talking about this change within you. You did a lot of work, a lot of toil and labor on yourself. Very nice. Let's see what career and finance holds for you. Some In career and finance, it's like something has you in knots because you're waiting for the approval, the outcome, the final say. What is career and finance for Libra? Career and finance. Career. Okay. Very nice. Nine of cups. It looks like you're going to get what you want. It says make a wish. It can very well come true. You're going to come into the lap of luxury. You're going to be in a, in a place of emotional stability, celebration. Okay. Wow. Ace of cups. You're going to get that new home or that new business or start that new business. The universe is blessing you with the highest level of happiness. Maybe fulfilling you. Feel overflowing. Got a lot of spiritual growth here. Wow, the hermit car. You're to yourself. You've changed your philosophy, maybe. Um, just maybe even your personality in terms of what you do for work or how you earn your money. You could be working from home. Wow, the ten of cups. Whatever you're doing, Libra, this is absolutely beautiful. If it, it fulfills you on a soul level. On, an, on a maturation, maturity, emotional maturity in everything. You have learned that in terms of family, in terms of friends, in terms of adversity. People not seeing things the way you see it. It doesn't matter. It's okay. You walk away. You move on. Wow. The strength card. You've learned compassion. Yeah, you've learned compassion. You've learned understanding. You've learned that you can rule, have power, and not be so forceful. You've learned forgiveness. You've learned to tame that ego. You've learned to l let go and... Remove the hurt and understand. Again, something about understanding. The five of swords, people's motives. You understand, you, in terms of conversation and what people have done or said about you, you understand questioning other people's motives. You can't get riled up when people come as the five of swords because it is self-interest. It says question people's motives and you, you have, you understand. If this person says this thing to me, I can let it trigger me and I can go there with them or I can understand their motive. And the motive was to trigger me, to bring me down to their vibration. I won't. The page of cups. Wow. Emotional. Uh, immaturity for some people you understand that there's a, a high level of emotional immaturity with someone
good news about business matters because it's his business um it's coming in maybe in one to eleven days do your work there somebody's going over the paperwork dotting all the t's and uh, dotting the t's right dotting the i's and crossing the t's this is going to be a complete shift in terms of career and finance you got all the pages wow you got so much communication coming into you it's going to ground i knew it was coming up so you've got good news about business matters okay it looks fruitful it looks plentiful keep at it okay and then you've got that grounding energy where since you have kept at it and you've been consistent and you've been learning and you've been diligent and you've been putting in the work, um, you have good news about money matters. And then you have, um, you have news, maybe even a delay, but this one came before this one. So it's like a delay, but it's still a yes answer. Somebody's looking over uh, again, looking over paperwork. And then there's the, maybe even the verbal offer. You have to accept it. Good news about business matters. Money matters. And then something completely sh changes you, Libra. The death card and the emperor. So you go from, so the death is like dynamic change, you know. Okay, this this will help you understand that dynamic change in death right so you've got life and death look at those two different things aren't they very dynamic either you're living or you're not right so it's there's you know no fine line there there's a really definite line between life and death either you're living or you're not right and and that is the change that will be happening with you either you're super broke or you're super not broke you like you go from having no money to having a lot of money, especially with the emperor coming up. So it's like you go from being an expert, having groundedness, rootedness, um, stability. You go from one dynamic to another, from life to death, if you will. Whatever it is, it, wow. It's, it's dynamic. It's phenomenal for you. It's something that you've been hoping, wishing, and praying for. It's something that maybe the universe had been molding and molding you and maybe even bringing you into a level of um, molding you and bringing you into a level of uh, they were kind of like shielding you. And um, I can't even think of the word, but I guess preparing you for this. This isn't something that the, the universe can say, okay, here, yeah, take it. I don't think. A lot of you would have been ready for it unless you had gone through this first. So anyway, Libra, this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section, okay? Keep in mind that I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, you can learn the tarot with me. If you would like to, tarot classes are linked below. Our first class starts December 27th. I'm excited. We've got some students. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, also, if you have a question or two, you can always text your question to the number below. You can get your question answered all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.